Good morning from the Renville County Planter. As you can tell, I just got up. I've had my coffee, but I haven't put my makeup on yet. So, um, I'm hungry. Let's make some eggs. Now, for years, I used to make eggs over easy, and you know, you have to cut the egg to a couple eggs in half and then flip them over with a spatula. And I always admired those people who could take the pan and just, just flip those eggs right over. Well, um, I'm going to demonstrate that technique today. It took me a long time to get the technique down. Um, put a lot of eggs on top of the stove. Uh, broke a lot of egg yolks, but you know where I was really able to hone the craft was uh, when we would go camping and my wife's family would all be around and I would mass produce eggs over easy for everybody. And when you get that repetitive motion you sort of get the feel of how much force you got to put onto that pan in order to flip the eggs. So anyway, let's go over here. We'll take a peek at our ingredient list here. What we have here, a pan, Teflon pan. I don't know if you can see that, but my, my youngest boy decided to make a grilled cheese and, well, it left its mark. And we have our bread ready to go for toast, fork and a napkin. You will need a spatula and a bowl and a cup and of course a couple of eggs. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do, I've got hot tap water fresh out of the tap. We are going to put the two eggs in there and then we're going to put the pan onto the burner on Oh, I'm going to go slightly over medium heat. Now, why put these into a hot water bath? I learned this trick from Elton Brown. He's kind of my culinary hero. And if you think about it, that egg is at, what, 38 degrees from the refrigerator, and if doneness is way up here, you're going to throw that cold egg into a hot pan. Well, by warming up the egg, it's, it's less of a thermal trip. You know, you're going to put that cold egg into a hot, hot pan while the top of the egg is still going to be really, really cold. And uh, anyway, it's less of a thermal trip to doneness. And as Elton Brown said, you, you won't uh, find that step in a French cookbook because the French don't refrigerate their eggs. So anyway, put these in five minutes in a hot water bath. Okay, five minutes of TV time has flown by. Now, as Elton Brown says, don't go cracking these on the side of a dish or something sharp. You'll just drive shrapnel up inside the egg. Always crack on a flat surface. And you want these eggs to go into the pan at approximately the same time. Best way to do that, put them into a bowl. See there, I got some shrapnel right there. Okay. Our pan has also been preheating for five minutes. We're going to take, thoroughly butter your pan. Make sure you get some up on that far side. You will not find margarine at my house. Okay, got our pan thoroughly buttered. I'm going to turn that heat up just a little bit. Put your eggs into the pan. your toast down. We're going to put just a little bit of salt on there. Of course your salt, always the best. Or you can use fine salt too if you don't like big pieces of salt. And then I'm going to pepper it at this point. I like pepper. Now, one of the secrets to being able to flip over an egg, once that sets up just a little bit, take and scoot your pan up like that. Get your egg down to one end. Just kind of let it set up a little bit. That's why you want to preheat your pan, that way it helps you get everything set. Okay, once you've made the surface area smaller, just take and bring it back into the middle of the pan. 
Now what we're looking for is when this kind of sets up and isn't totally you know liquid. And if your eggs start dancing around in the pan, you got it way too hot. So watch your heat. You just want to kind of do a you know a lower medium heat. Okay, they're starting to look pretty set on the I mean they're they're not near as runny. Okay, now those look pretty. Now for the flip. Get them down over to that end. And one, two, three, flip. And I like to count to 30. I'll set my timer for 30 seconds. Once it's sat for about you don't want to go moving on that. You might break your yolk if it isn't set yet. So wait about 10 seconds and then slide it back to the middle of the pan so it isn't, you know, way up on the edge. Okay. One and that was 30 seconds and so I'll get it back over the edge. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. And flip. And there you are. Over easy eggs. Don't forget to uh, shut your burner off. Okay, our toast is ready to go. Get that buttered up. wife when she eats eggs she takes and mashes them all up that's just wrong I like to uh, peel open the yolk a little bit and I like to dip my toast mm -mm. anyway don't forget to like subscribe and share and don't be afraid to try this stuff at home have a good day